Patrick with Modular Mechanical Service. We are the Haycon rep, so I'm going to talk a little bit about owner's training regarding the Haycon unit. Haycon is a custom manufacturer for different air handlers, with simple and complicated units. So as far as this one goes, it's a very large unit, um, 100,000 CFM. So we're going to talk a little bit about the filters and the, uh, the lubricating the bearings. Um, we're going to provide the IOM with, with each unit, which will walk you through how the unit was set up um, in, in sections. It's going to walk you through the intervals for chain for greasing the bearings and what, what grease the manufacturer represents, uh, recommends rather. So maintenance of the unit, one of the things we want to check is we want to make sure electric connections are tight within the motor. We want to make sure the skid the motor sits on stays level with the springs. There is a tension adjustment on the springs that you may have to adjust over time to keep that the motor level. These are direct drive motors. Um, there are no belts to replace. Um, the, the only only maintenance on the motors themselves are lubricating them. Um, we, we do have a recommendation on lubrication. So it's going to walk you through, depending on the RPM of the motor, how often they need to be lubricated. And it'll tell you here what type of, they give you four different uh, types of grease they recommend using. So we'll get the grease recommendation and we'll get the interval for um, lubrication on those. That's really the only maintenance wise you'll need to do on the motors themselves. Check that they're level, check that they're lubricated, make sure they stay clean. Um, that's it on the motors. Uh, the filters, there is a pre-filter section. Um, again, how often you change them depends on the environment. You'll know that after a certain amount of time, you'll be able to set up a maintenance schedule. Just make sure the filters stay clean. If you keep the filters clean, keep them in place nice and tight. Um, we won't get any uh, dirt on the coils, and you won't have to clean the coils. Um, as far as the coils go, we have, two, we have two coils here. We have a cooling coil, and we have a hot water coil. Again, both of them are just hot water and chill water. We just need to make sure they stay clean, free of debris, and that's achieved by keeping your filters clean, keeping your filters tight, making sure you're not leaving any gaps for stuff to get through your filters. Um, and that's, that's based on the maintenance we have. Most of the controls are being done by others. There are dampers within the motors, within the, the unit rather. Those dampers are being controlled by your building management system. Same with the speed of the motors themselves. The speed of the motors themselves are being controlled through your building management system. So you'll see we're at the supply fan section of the motor uh, at the unit. You can see it's designated supply fan. We have an access window to see the motors are, are running. We have different access areas also, and they're all designated what they are. Um, so first thing you want to do as far as the maintenance goes is we want to shut the unit down. We want to follow proper lockout, tagout procedures. Once the unit is safely shut down, then we can access the motor for maintenance. We've got the two handles here. We also have a light we can turn on to see inside. We open up the handles and then we can access the unit. So once inside the unit, we're gonna see that we got this, we got two fan motors, they're both sitting on skids with springs. We're gonna verify the isolation springs are working properly and supporting the unit. We wanna check that they're level, make sure that the skid itself is level. We wanna check the electric connection, make sure the electric connections are tight. And then we're gonna take a look at the grease fittings and we're gonna grease according to the INM, how many RPMs is and what interval we're supposed to grease with what proper grease to use.